Okay, so I'm going to use a uh, spreader here. This is just a bent piece of glass in a beaker that contains some ethanol. The ethanol is going to uh, sterilize the cells that might be on this spreader. I'm also going to put it in a fire because, you know, why not burn things when you get a chance? So, of course, I've got open flame over here. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but this Bunsen burner is on. And I have a container of open ethanol here that is very flammable. So I want to make sure these things do not get close together. Uh, once you light a beaker full of ethanol on fire, you really never forget that one. So let's try to not do that. <clears throat> no personal experience to speak of. All right, so I'm going to get that wet with ethanol. Uh, just touch it into the, the Bunsen burner. It'll catch on fire. It's burning just a little bit. Gonna pass it through a little bit more. Uh, as I let that thing burn, I want to point it downwards. Uh, if you point it upwards, then the potentially flaming ethanol comes heading towards your fingers. Eh, not the best plan there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off while I talk. You want to give this a chance to cool as well. So if you touch it right to a liquid culture after flaming it, uh, you're going to get yourself into a little bit of trouble probably killing some cells in the process. Uh, they're durable. They're not like boiling durable. Uh, one way, if you want to check and make sure that your spreader is cool enough, you can touch it to the inside of the lid. If it's hot, it's going to cloud up with some condensation. Uh, it's not doing that right now. And of course, I'm trusting that the inside of the Petri dish is sterile and my spreader is sterile as well, so I can touch those things together without touching any, uh, transferring any cells. Uh, I'm going to do a trick here that a lot of students are quite fond of. I'm going to work from the most dilute back towards the least dilute. So I'm going to start with the plates that should have the fewest number of cells, and I'm going to keep using the same spreader as I move towards more concentrated liquids. And I can do that because the liquid that might come along, there's going to be a little residual liquid on here, the liquid that comes along isn't going to bring an appreciable number of cells. It's not going to make a big difference because there are way more cells in the liquid that I'm moving it into. Now, it doesn't work if you go the other direction. If you have a concentrated number of cells on here and then you touch it to a dilute cell uh, solution, you're going to introduce a number of cells into that, that that might make a difference. So we're going to go in the, the safe direction. All right. Uh, I didn't bring my spread saver. There's a... Uh, device you can use that spins this around nicely so important just to spread all the liquid to all the surface and uh, i'm spinning with my left hand to make up for that not having that instrument all right that was 10 to the minus 8 this one's also 10 to the minus 8 i can keep using the same spreader uh, the more effectively you touch every surface in here then you're going to get a nice clean distribution of cells. So don't be afraid to do that for a fairly long period of time. All right, now I'm moving up in uh, cell density to 10 to the minus 6. So there's going to be, uh, I can't see any cells or really even have any evidence of cells, but there should be more cells per liquid volume in these 10 to the minus 6. Oops. Check my label here. 10 to the minus 6, sure enough. Da -da 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 -da. All right, moving on up. 10 to the minus 4. Not pressed for time, this can be relaxing. Doo -doo, doo -doo. So, the real proof will be when these grow up. You get to see how well you've spread them. Uh, a lot of people don't do this great the first time around, but that's what practice is for. Right, 10 to the minus 4, whole bunch of 10 to the minus 4 is here. Mm -hmm. Mm 
be a great time to try out that 2x speed feature. Nice if we had 2x speed in real life, huh? Make all your menial tasks go by twice as fast. Because maybe you have to work twice as fast too, right? Da, 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 da. You haven't chosen a song to play in your head by this point. Now is also a good time for that. Should we cut this from the video or just let it roll? Concentrated plates we have. Full strength. Hmm. So spreader back in the ethanol. Uh, I turned off my Bunsen burner. Let me fire that back up and just get one last satisfying burn here. All right. So as this is dripping, of course, it's covered in burning ethanol. You want to make sure that all gets burned off before you put it anywhere near the ethanol. I'm just going to play it safe and set it down on the countertop while it uh, cools. So it's not going to be particularly sterile between now and the next experiment, but when we start the next experiment, we're going to sterilize it to begin with. So uh, that'll get taken care of. <laughs> 